Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And I wanted to talk to you today about some of the things that are still coming up here. And there's still going to be a lot this year. If you thought last year was intense, this year is going to be intense. It's also going to be a year where you do see sort of distinct uh, groups of people, people that are moving into their un unions in the physical. There are going to be people that are st still in a holding pattern. And you're going to see people that, you know, they seem like they, you know, they've dropped out. And people are dropping like flies. And that's a subjective personal decision. In many ways, the higher collective decision has been made uh, both way back, and I'm speaking of millions of years ago, eons ago really, um, but also it was before a lot of you were born here. Now, I want to take some time to just sort of uh, say a couple things that bear saying again. The people that I'm primarily speaking two and four are, uh, they are twin flames, specifically illumined twin flames, people from the golden ray of the golden sun, and also blue rays. However, there's many other rays, and it's a rainbow spectrum of rains. There's no superiority to it. It's sort of like when you build a house and you have different you know, special people for different things. There's some people that lay the foundation. There's other people that are electricians. And there's a sequence. You can't, uh, you can't run the electrical until you have the walls up. You can't put the roof on without the walls. You cannot run plumbing until you're hooked up. And a lot of people have done so much work and you are leaving before you actually get your occupancy permit and you're just abandoning. Um, but in reality, it's created. So the creation is there. What else has been created? Well, this is what I want to talk to you about. It is, I'm going to talk to you right now about the children of the unions. And these are some special spirits. The spirits of these children, the entities who those children really are, they're some tough little cookies. And a lot of you know this. A lot of you do know your children. So if you have children, if you have your own children, like I do, if you have the children of your beloved that will be coming to know you, get to know you, interact with you, maybe live with you, it can be children that come to you by way of adoption by way of a death in the family and you are all of a sudden their guardian. It can be children that you bring in on a temporary basis. And there's a thing to know here. It may also be animal children. It may be a pet. It might be uh, an abused animal. It might be somebody that you literally, I'm speaking of who you're taking into your home. Who are you bringing near your union, but specifically human children? I am a person who is a people person. I have the people connections. Therefore, I primarily talk about people. But I do know people, uh, some of the people I talk to are the people with the animal connections or the environment connections. And there's a lot, of, a lot that's getting into place. Now, what you are going to be seeing, and by the way, today is March 5th. It's a full moon today. It's important that you know you're not crazy. Some of the things that you may be experiencing or seeing, and a lot of it is uh, metaphysical or etheric or in your dream time or the feelings that you're getting, please know the senses on everybody, they're upgrading to a certain degree and everybody's coming online. Some people less, some people more. Some people so overly sensitive they really want to get out of here because this uh, level of living is very unbearable for them. However, there are some who, yes, came in and are near or around your unions. So those children, they are from the um, green, the green-blue, 
which is different than Blu-ray. They're from the green blue, which is sort of a tur turquoise color. Many of them from Uranus. A lot of them are have been stabilizing influences for the unions. It's also kids from the red ray and the purple rays. And they're bringing something to the table. These are some of the very children who themselves are divine counterparts and are also twin flames. And as they go from childhood into puberty or they're teenagers and they're coming into young adult adulthood, a lot of them will have a lot of changes this year. I want to make you aware, and especially my guidance this morning was, I mean, from my union, put it out there. These kids are going to be also releasing their old connections of the mental and emotional bodies. They are unraveling the mental and emotional bodies as they once were, which is all of their old karma. And there's a thing to know. Uh, about a while back, some of it five years ago, some of it two years ago and a year ago, there were people that had opportunities for being with their beloved or at least aligning themselves, getting a divorce, uh, moving geographically, and sometimes when they didn't and they decided to reinvest in the place where they were, whether it was a marriage, whether that marriage expired or not, it, they probably re-upped to the extent that sometimes a child was created. And guess what? When you have a parent who is the genetic parent and that child chooses to incarnate through, they will um, bring the threads through of whatever karmic genetic uh, things that they wish to release. This is their karmic journey as well to get here, heal, dump off their karma. Now, moving forward, and this is a lot of what I'm going to be talking about in my next webinar, there are children that will be born that aren't coming here to dump off boatloads of karma. In fact, we've sort of hit the bottom and things will begin to take an upswing. So some of the things you might see on the media, they'll begin to slow down at, at some point. That point is not now. That point is a little bit later in the year because there need to be things in place. There need to be changes in police actions, changes in legislation um, globally, not just in one country because we're all struggling with these, you know, people, uh, adults and children that are, you know, they're blasting off that old karma. They can't contain it anymore. It's, it's cracking off, it's exploding all over the place, and it's vomiting out right in front of everybody. And it's, you know, just because some people say, well, I don't do that, well, I don't do that, I don't own a gun, you know, it's happening. And this is, in some ways, it's everybody's problem because we're, we're all coping with it. The negativity and the density that exists here actually have a tendency to hold that stuff in place but lifting up and out of it so if you've had a child please know that part of your responsibility and your Dharma to that child is what it is for you to assist them and how do you assist them this is when some of you yes in your unions will become the divine parents that you are because you are maybe the biological parent and your beloved is the angelic parent where the angelic lineage comes through. There are people, and this is very valid, there are people that feel the children of their beloved as their own child, as a child of their heart. And I've said this again and again, it doesn't matter how that child came through. It doesn't matter if it was a one night stand, it doesn't matter if it was um, you know, marriage that was on the outs. It doesn't matter if it was, uh, you know, maybe your twin and you came together. Addressing the aspect of children in the unions, and yes, that old axiom, it's going to take a village to raise the child. That is, we're coming into that big time here. It's going to take a village because uh, some of these people that are, uh, on the older spectrum uh, have been identified as being people with Asperger's 
and on the lower side. So there's even groups of children. There's groups of children that are indigo transitioning. There's crystal children that didn't come in with boatloads of karma. And sometimes they're right in a family where there's an indigo, there's a crystal, there's a rainbow kid, and you've got three kids with three different uh, sort of uh, paradigms or what's overlighting their connection here in terms of what their journey is, what they want to accomplish, what they're overcoming, what they're, what they're seeking. Everyone here is here because they want it to be new. However, it's sort of a closed system. And, uh, you know, inside a family, breaking out of containing things within the family is what's, what's important. It's going to be important to be able to, you know, bite the bullet, show your vulnerability, seek the help that's necessary. But not just the outside. Your connections, your divine connections are what is going to tell you what's going on. So, the old karma is going to go. Many twin flame couples, whether you're physically near each other, whether you're together, whether you are geographically in different, two different parts of the world, you're in this holding pattern, but you are ready to go. Some of you, you know it. You know who you are because you're like, oh, this should have happened two years ago. I, I began merging in 2012. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay? And a lot of the negativity, the fears, a lot of which are financial fears. We haven't even talked about finances. We haven't. Okay? Nobody's expected to be dropped. However, hooking up to your higher connections, that's, that's your zip line. That's your like, woohoo. You know, I'm going and, and we're going. Like it or not, this is continuing. So some of you may feel, you know, stuck. You're really just sort of, you've elevated and you're sort of on this plateau. We're all still going. Okay. The twin flames who have children will begin uh, detachments from their issues. And what this means is that, um, let me get my notes here. Because <laughs> I, I get this, I get this stuff like, early morning and it's yeah there's a there's a lot and I really want to share with you that you know being the parent of a child who is 10 years old and there's been things over the years and you know kind of scratching my head were it not for being a twin flame I think I think we wouldn't be as far as we are I'll say that. This has enlivened my life, and uh, my child is beautiful. But there's karma there. <laughs> and what, what some of you may find is that you're aware of some of your old karma connections. It could be that that uh, child was a parent, a boss, a sibling, a rival, or even a lover in some other life. And it's incumbent on you in this life, be the parent. You're supposed to be the parent, but you're also intended to be the divine parent. So those uh, people who are twin flames, you're going to feel your children go through this stuff. You might see them exploding. With kids, it goes a lot easier and a lot quicker. There's ways that uh, younger children resolve their karma, and they'll pretty much sometimes be done in one day, three days. A lot of it is going to take the form of a physical uh, malady, something that might seem like a virus. I mean, I call it the ascension flu, jokingly. And that's something we've thrown around for a while. But watch and see, there's going to be people around you that seem to spike. They'll have a high fever. They'll get the chills. They'll go to bed. Um, they will all, they'll be vomiting everything out out of them. It's important to use your discernment and it is important to, yes, enlist the help of the medical community if necessary. If it lingers, please seek the medical attention. Get the antibiotics. Now, that is something I would like to just touch on here. There are a lot of people that sort of have this either love-hate or trust-distrust relationship with Western medicine. And I'll just say this. Um, they, even that you have to discern what's necessary because there are times that by the time the soul damage in this karma, 
comes into the physical body, you need the help of the physical Western medicine or, you know, combination of Eastern and Western. Okay, you just have to. You just have to trust that you're the one who's bringing the light into any situation. And that by virtue of the vibe of your heart, you're going to attract the right doctor. You're going to attract the right nurses. You will attract the person whose hand is guided by a higher hand and knows exactly what to do. All right? And that you have the discernment that if something seems off, that you're ready to set your boundaries and say, hold up a minute. I need to, you know, get a second opinion or, you know, this just doesn't feel right. We're going to wait I, I, or we're leaving. It's up to you to have those discernments. You're not here to be abused by the medical community any longer. But um, around here in Chicago, it's March. However, the weather is still very icy and it came a day a uh, week and a half ago that my son fell. And we thought he broke his wrist, took him to emergency. We had to wait in the emergency room for up to four hours. Now, while I was waiting, here's, here's the real thing about being a twin flame. I could feel things going on through my body. And I said, oh, I'm on the clock. I'm working. It's, you know, this is, uh, I'm on the mission right now. <laughs> but the mission was actually getting healthy. And by the time we were actually seen four hours later, um, the crisis had averted. I knew it. But what I told my son, I said, close your eyes and do a body scan. And you scan your body and feel that. Does it feel like you broke a bone? And the answer was no. Okay. They did x-rays, which confirmed it. However, um, four years ago, there was something we were bringing full circle. Four years ago, he broke his arm and the break was like this. He needed surgery. You're not going to get that, you know, by putting oils on it. You're not going to get that by doing aromatherapy and throwing rose petals, okay? You're not going to get what's necessary all the time. Use what's available here. And I do understand that there's people watching this, that you might have the technology to watch this, but in your country, you may not have sufficient. It might have to be a combination of a lot of things. It takes Western medicine to set bones. It takes Western medicine to cut out the soul damage that's turned into cancer. It takes, it takes, you know, it really takes something to get the densities out. Okay, you're, you're still, it's incumbent on you to take care, good care of your human body. Because many of you are not going to be able to float up uh, out of here as floaty as you might feel some days. You might say like, ooh, I don't feel grounded or I'm so highly vibrating. There's a plan. Please trust that there is a plan. And part of that divine plan is that we are in the year of uh, really ascending to the Earth star level. Now, the um, some of the other things, your breakups, your breakups with people, places, things from deeply inside are going to be very prominent. And a couple videos ago, I did this video that I called Break the Stagnation. A lot of people took that to mean like, well, it's too cold. I really can't get out of the house. No, you're breaking up the cellular stagnation. And this, this lets you do the breakups. It could be with foods. It could be with, um, I'll give you an example. Several years ago, and this is not now, but several years ago, I had a breakup with the place I went to exercise. And they just, they weren't family friendly. <laughs> and I needed something that was. And they gave me a hard time. They, they were like very looking for the money. I mean, they really were. Um, but that, that was the people in the front. That was their job. They were salespeople. They had other people who were the physical trainers. That's how they split it up there. And they had, they had just been bought out, so the push was on, like, drive, drive, drive the sales. And, and yet, they wouldn't let the entire family participate. So I broke up with them. So maybe you're breaking up with your bank, with your credit card, with, um, you know, where you live, with your mattress, with your pillow. Break. You're going to feel the breakups from deep within, or you're going to feel what you need to break up with. It's going to be very prominent. There can be also things associated with your children that you need to help them with because you are the parent 
that you're breaking up with. It could be a teacher. It could be a place. Like, let's say you take your kid for um, karate lessons and you just are feeling really heebie-jeebie about it. You're like, oh, you know, this is this is not feeling right anymore. Then break up with them. What's holding you to it? You know, just because maybe their friend goes, okay, make some new friends. Breaking the stagnation is an important thing. And what I will say to you is that when you do have children, a lot of it comes on very hard and fast, all of a sudden. If you have not arranged your day to allow for those surprises, okay, and it can be a delightful surprise, it can also be something like you get a call and you've got to go to emergency. And if you don't have your setup, this is something that I really want to let you know about. Start mending your fences with some of the people, okay? I'm going to be talking about this in the future. If you haven't mended the fences with either that other angelic parent, your beloved, your um, parents, if you haven't mended fences with other people. Okay, so once you've set your boundaries internally in your heart, you cracked, her, you cracked your heart open for the hundredth time, you're like, oh, I broke up with that thing and it hurts, I, I miss it, I lost it. But that's a good thing because your beloved's energy gets in there. The thing is, is, there will still be things that you connect with. And so getting good at, at knowing the timing of, well, you know, that was for a season, it's time to break up with that. Um, that is going to serve you well. The other thing is, is you do have people that you rely upon so that there are other people for the children so that you have time for your union. Whether it's brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, grandma, grandpa, parents, teachers, babysitters, you are the one that sometimes has to be the one to mend the fence. Okay? You've set them out there, and you don't want that fence to be broken. You, you want that fence where it's like, okay, we know where each other stands. If you don't know how to do this, I talk about some of this in my webinar where I uh, give you, walk you through how to release and conclude your universal karma. Check it out because that, that will serve you well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Please know that the best thing is the willingness and openness of your heart. If you don't know the how, if you are saying, oh my gosh, my child has this going on, or I really feel my, you know, my beloved's children, or oh my goodness, my beloved, I just found out they had a child. Well, you better be dig deep because that child did not get created without your assent and consent and the force of creation at another level. And making your peace with it is probably going to be very easy when you really feel deeply on it and feel what is the connection with this person. If you don't know what to do, if there are people in your life that are giving you a hard time, ask for the help on the level of your soul. If you feel that there is uh, someone like, I will give you an example with me, okay? Because I try to give personal examples. With my own mother, my mother means well. We've sometimes had boundary issues. Um, for emergency purposes, I gave her a key, and when I wouldn't answer the phone by four rings, she was letting herself in. And, you know, we had to sort of establish that, okay, I, I need a boundary here. We worked it out. Okay, we worked it out. I'm smiling now, but it was a little tense at the time. Now, the thing is, is that I know that my mother doesn't really fully understand everything it is that I'm doing. What, what I finally said one day, because she was so concerned, she, I said, can we please give my mother a dream to let her know who, you know, what I'm doing or who I am and that it's okay. And do you know what happened? Now, mind you, I had healed, mended my fences, like did a lot of work that took close to five years to do. So I'm kind of, I was kind of at the tail end at that point. And do you know what happened? 
about three nights later, in my dream state, I'm, I'm here and I see my mother there and waving. And she's saying, hi, I know I get it. Wow, who knew? But listen to this. Days after that, my mother said to me, whatever help you need, I'm willing to help you. And the question stopped and the attitude changed. And that's what you want. You want to get things to a point where people have a different attitude with you. You want the, the mind and the mood lifted up, lightened up. Okay, they don't have to know everything. They're not going to know it. Other people have not experienced what you yourself have experienced. We're bringing a gift here. So the last thing I'm going to uh, leave you with is always pause and breathe and use patience with anyone, but especially the kids. We are at a point where those little bodies or those teenage bodies, they are emerging. They're, they're emerging, and so handling things differently than maybe your grandparents handle it is very important. And loads of hugs and kisses, okay? So thanks so much for listening. I will let you know when my next webinar is out. I will also uh, be having more information. Bye now.